Well, folks, you put me to work. I have to do a follow-up to yesterday's video, and let me tell you. So really, there were a lot of ticked off people coming in the comments, as I was too, but now it looks like we're all gonna be just a little bit more ticked off when you think about it. You left some of the most interesting sets of theories in my comments section. I thank you very much for that. Probably my personal favorite of those theories is Ozzy Osbourne not being real. That maybe they had some form of hydraulic mannequin with makeup and a wig in his place. That one took the cake for me. There were others saying that NBC had a beef with Sharon because she was let go from The View. And yet others that delved into even crazier territory with Fox appearances, race, etc. But it really comes down to what arrangements happen. And in cases like this, you just have to follow the money. So when we put two and two together, we do the math, we do know that Ozzy's performance was available on Peacock. And when you look at Peacock, it is a streaming service that is owned by NBC. Now Sharon Osbourne, being the accomplished businesswoman that she is, most likely made arrangements with NBC to be able to exclusively stream the performance on Peacock. However, it appears that NBC did not do a good job at communicating this to the viewers. Of course, this doesn't take anybody off the hook, not by a long shot, because this sets a really bad precedent. What's basically happening now is NBC is saying, hey, we'll air the game, but in order to see the halftime event, now you've got to pay money to catch the stream on Peacock. And of course, this introduces my own little slippery slope thought. How far will it go? Will network TV start bringing you to the cliffhanger of a show only to say, hey, if you want to see the rest of it, sign up for our streaming service. And that kind of was done with South Park recently. So it is definitely a disturbing new trend in TV. And this Aussie performance during halftime is really just a signal of that. Corporate greed at its best. This is not a slam against Aussie. However, I think as this truth comes out, it's not going to reflect on him that well. Anytime we follow a legend or we're fans of a legend, we kind of like to forget what kind of business people they are. We really just want to know musically what they're doing and what they're up to. So this whole scenario with the football game was really poorly conceived to say the least. But I had to do this follow-up video because there were definitely more layers of the onion to peel away. And when it comes down to it, when you have a network channel, a major network channel, that also happens to own a streaming service, we are bound to see a lot of repeats of what had happened. I'm not a fan of it myself because I don't want to have to subscribe to all sorts of streaming services to see whatever it is I want to see because they refuse to all of a sudden show it on network TV. But that looks like that's where it's going at this point. Nevertheless, I just wanted to get that out there, share that with you all as a follow-up to yesterday's upload. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. It has helped me so far get to this point. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.